Alien Sauce continues with Destroy All Human. Vinny, are you doing a lot of singing lately? I am, yeah. Why is the voice crack? <laughs> Sing now. Ha! Ah! Okay, so there's a new mission here. This is a brand new place. Um, but just to get us started, we could do... Area 42. Vinny, will you be buying Crystal Chronicles on Switch? I will be. And also, I will be, um... I'll be... Drinking some Crystal Head Vodka. Vinny, you sound tired. Oh, I am. That's one of the reasons I started early tonight, is so I can relax a little bit tonight. Um, even though... So I did have a, a relaxing day, but I slept pretty weird last night, and I just feel like my energy has been kind of sapped out of me a bit. So... So one of the reasons that I'm ending the stream early is to, you talking to me? sleep a little early. Really? There you go. Destroy whatever is left of the base. Reduce it to ashes. Someone said so. You're playing as Elvis now. This is as far from Elvis as you could get, pretty much. Elvis is wonderful. This- this dude's an asshole. Orson Welles was right. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite quotes. Yeah, fly into everything. How come the music is so low? What the audio mixing in this game? I've mentioned before, but man, it's real weird. What was my favorite cereal as a kid? I think it was, uh... Maybe Cookie Crisp? <laughs> or, um, like, like, Pebbles or something? Anything that made the milk... amazing. You have a mere minute to complete this task! I don't really remember, though. I, there's probably a couple different ones that I liked. It wasn't the Mario cereal, I'll tell you that much. Trash it! Yeah, those cereals were pretty bad. Uh, usually, any themed cereal from, like, a movie or a TV show or a property or a video game or something was pretty bad. It was just generic cereal that they applied to all of it. It's like, oh, you can't taste the shape of Mario's head, man. You're running out of time! I don't think I won. Damn it. Alright, whatever. Let's 
there was another thing. What were we talking about earlier? There was something before the serial discussion. The Mario Odyssey cereal is pretty good. Oh, okay. Well, growing up, most of the, like, licensed cereals were pretty bad. You know what my favorite was? Joker cereal. From the 2009 Joker film. Teen. 2019 film The Joker Wait, it was just called Joker, right? Because we now have a movie coming up called The Batman Not Batman, we've already had one of those So soon, when they reboot Joker again With a different actor Let's just say, um Adam Driver It'll be called The Joker. And then Nintendo will get their hands on the license, and it'll be The New Joker. The human hierarchy of needs intrigues me. Blow up those tanks by any means necessary. Disrupt the military's sense of security in this arc booter forsaken sandbox. Um, I don't know if I have enough explosions for this. Yeah, this one seems tough, because then I have to refill the ammo. I'm not planning on three-starring every one of these, but I just for upgrades, it's, it's nice to have some extra point. I will say this definitely looks like the um, the same kind of thing as Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, the Area 51 they had in that movie. I can almost see the fridge now. Are you prepared for the kind of death you've earned, little man? I don't have any more explosions. This isn't happening. I'm not even going to get one star on this. I probably have to upgrade quite a bit. Chop, chop. Nope, not happening. Can I anal probe a tank? If you try hard enough, yes. Mm. Anyway, next challenge. Let's do this. You're going Vinny, do you want Prime 4 to be dual analog gyro or the outdated GameCube control scheme? Well, when you frame it like that, there's an answer that you're looking for. You know what you want. On your and you're not wrong, by the way. I'm just saying that as uh, as an aside. But no, you're you're right. I think 
the GameCube control scheme was designed because... Well, why was it like that, actually? I don't really know why it was like that. As many military articles and personnel. The C you stick was wimpy. Well, I played Time Splitters 2 on the GameCube. It wasn't great for first person shooters, but it, it worked. Maybe because they wanted to emphasize the lock on scheme more. I think, yes, Gyro and Dual Analog would be great for Prime 4, definitely. You could still do Lock-On. I can't lift a lot of this stuff. Upgrade telekinesis. Yeah, that seems to be the thing I need to do to, to get some of these these missions complete in the first place. Like, the previous one and this one, I don't think I'm prepared for. I, don't, I need more upgrade. Are those brains from before? Stop, Crypto! I can't use those samples! No, no, <laughs> God no. damn it, you don't want that? That is not what I asked for! No, You can't no, use a pole? No. A wooden crate? And that didn't even work. Yeah, that, this isn't happening either. Oh well. How about an explosive barrel? That's worth two. Step up a gear, Pinto. Crypto. My controller Do is in a low, how long it takes a low state of vibration for the past five ship? minutes. It's at its lowest setting of vibration. I can just feel it, and it's making me feel like I have tremors. The Batman was actually what characters called him in the earliest comics. They did. Like, the Pink Floyd. Oh, return to Mothership, not Menu. Um, let's upgrade, then we'll go to Santa Modesta. Is there supposed to be music here? I can't upgrade that yet. Alright, let's just go for the mission. Water hurting crypto is a reference to signs by M. Night Shyamalan. Is it Shyamalan or Shyamalan? I always I heard it was Shyamalan when I was younger, and now everyone says Shyamalan. I just call him Shamalama Ding Dong. 
I need to remove the battery pack so that it will stop vibrating. Please, please, controller, stop vibrating, please. Given up. All right, let's continue. What? Little green Spice and fire! Oh, yes! from... Further testing of the human's resistance to damage, particularly explosions, is required. Auditory canal protection off. Ah! Shouldn't be too bad with explosives. Already almost done. <laughs> that is the wrong way. This changes things. This is a lot easier than that previous one. Chat keep asking me every every time I stream this if I would play Destroy All Humans 2 if it got a remaster, I would. It seems like they could do it, but I guess the this doesn't follow the trend of including a couple games in one pack. So Spyro had the trilogy, Crash had the trilogy, Tony Hawk has one and two. Nice probing, Crypto. Good Lord. Will you check it's out Crash alien. 4? I'm not sure I will. I'm not take the heat. that crazy about um, Crash. It's fine. Uh, I like the remake. I enjoyed a lot of it, but I didn't think it was... I like Spyro better. Let's put it that way. I don't really love the style of gameplay for Crash all that much. I think it's good, but there's a lot of frustrating moments in the original and the remake. Though I know they changed some of the collision detection and, and all that stuff. So when I saw that Crash 4 was announced, it was a big maybe. It still is. And the reason- so people have said Destroy All Humans 2 is, is still good. The original is still really good. It holds up. The reason I wouldn't stream it right away is just because there's so many other games that I want to check out. And like, older ones, newer ones. So if it comes out as a remake, that'll inspire me to play it. Destroy All Humans 2 has good co-op. Play New Vegas on stream. Here come the requests. So, I'm not really the craziest about the Fallout, um... Rip off streams. The and reduce this place to rubble. That was one thing I learned playing Fallout 4. New Vegas might be different because I know it's a better game, but... I'm not really crazy about streaming giant open world games. Like, I did Skyrim and that was fun because it was so janky. Uh, I know New Vegas is janky too. But I start getting really bored of those games after a couple, you know, couple hours. Oh 
I mean, never say never for a new Vegas stream. I haven't played very much of it. So there's always a chance, and I could mod it and, you know, do all that stuff, but I don't- I don't think I'm all that- I don't think I'm all that interested. What about Mega Man? Well, that's a completely separate type of genre. <laughs> Trash it! I, I've streamed a lot of Mega Man on, on this here stream. If you mean Mega Man Zero 2, that could Only happen at some point. Remaining. But I have Get a couple ideas it. for when I'm done with Paper Mario, I have a couple games that I'd like to check out. What are some of your favorite moments in your Skyrim playthrough? I loved the deer that disappeared. Most of my favorite moments were, were glitches. Um, there were a number of good moments that were, like, intended, but, like... The dual Dawnbreakers wasn't an intended thing, right? Get the three stars there. Never should have come here. Yeah, I wasn't destroying stuff because the, um, the draining was worth more, and I forgot that destroying stuff was even worth stuff. It was just tired, dumb brain. That's all it was. Good lord! Little green I'm studying the human way of life to discover... Someone mentioned Subnautica. What, what was the whole deal with the expansion? Because that, that wasn't finished, right? That's still not quite done. better. Beam them up at once. We're under attack! Let me go! No, no, no! That is not what I asked for! It's still in early access. Yeah, I'm not streaming that... the orbital transporter station... ...until it's, uh... Stop shilly-shallying! I'm not streaming that until it's fully released. Help! Deliver vehicles for more. This isn't gonna happen. I'm just gonna stop this. Vinny, as the games industry gets bigger and more AAA indie games get released every year, do you feel like it's getting harder to keep up with games you want to play? Absolutely, yeah. If Death Stranding was released at a time where there weren't, like, six other amazing I games, and its data. I would have Don't been able to probably appreciate it more. Maybe I would have given it more of a chance instead of just abandon it. Um, that said, I don't particularly regret giving up on Death Stranding, but... It's something that I would have given a chance had there not been a crazy release lineup. Also, I've talked about streaming Zelda Oracle of Ages for quite a while, but every time I think about streaming it, a bunch of games come out that I would rather stream, you know, while they're new. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff, and then people always want me to go back to some of the older indie games that I like, which I'm fine with. So between, like, new games, stuff that came out fairly recently that I've missed, 
older games that I want to like play again after years Why? or stuff I've never played before. Go. It's hard to keep Confess up. Yeah. Your involvement in really hard to keep up. For your own Which is why I'm so weird with suggestions. When people give me a million suggestions, it's like I'm one, I'm one person. W within if you think about it, within any one screen of chat messages of suggestions that could be upwards of like 600 hours of gameplay. So Speak up whoever's there. Fathead Rice. Case. Dream, I need you to split yourself at the five guys. So what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Vinny, are you planning on getting back to the Mario and Luigi series? Eventually, but that got shafted too. Because up of just so many games. And uh, also, Paper Mario Origami King has fulfilled my Mario with a story uh, game needs for the time being. So I don't think I'd play another Mario Luigi game anytime soon. Not for a little while, at least. How can you not hate playing games when it's your job? Well, I've done everything I can to make this fun, which is no schedule. I play usually whatever I want. I play games I like, stuff from my childhood. I play, um... Specifically, I try to stick with stuff I'm interested in. So when people are like, well, Vinny, you need to step outside your comfort zone. Well, I could do that, but I might start playing games that I don't really like, just to please the chat. Yeah, I still love games. Also, if I didn't like this game on the first stream of it, I wouldn't still be playing it. So I tend to play the stuff I like. But I also play a fuckload of games off stream. So... It's... Just... Like, how do you get sick of good video games? Uh... Mind woozy, vision blurred, bladder bursting, must get to a lavatory. Oh my yeah, that's Sunday stream. Cranium. Crypto, you moron. First step is admit you've got a problem. Please, please tell me, tell me I'm alone. <laughs> oh, thank you. Great frontal lobes, but where in space am I? Looks like some kind of primitive laboratory, a, a cage, and humans are being held against my will, and none the fun way. Uh, oh, they touched me. I feel so <laughs> dirty. Okay, okay, that's it. Joanna Bring Dark needs to save him. Now. Or he could just save himself. Didn't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. Just don't think you understand. One more human disguise. You're nothing. Ooh, crypto, you're still alive. Of course I'm alive. It takes a lot more than a massive head trauma to keep me down. Little. Little. What is that thing? A gun. Tell me what you look like. Ha <laughs> ha 
little green men! Sponge worked Not here. Again. Confirmed. Colorblind morons. Die, pea brain. Hey, where's the... What did you do with my clip, monkey boy? Magazine. Phew. So nope. much for wholesale carnage. I guess I'll just have to settle for ripping your limbs off one by one with my bare hands until I find it. With my bare hands. It's an alien gun. It can be a clip. Okay. Ah! Origin story of Sponge's sadness. friend has just disappeared. Just faded out of existence. That's fine, I guess. He does it a lot. Oh, that Clive. What's the condition of your ship? No idea. The humans must have recovered your ship. Why do dock workers all wear these funny hats? Makes me feel like some commie Kerouac beatnik. <laughs> Kerouac reference, very nice. A lot of grunts around lately. Couldn't be commies in Union Town. Or could they? Good. This information will help lead us to your ship. Scan more workers. Well, how the fuck do I get up there to scan that dude? The dude is up all the way up there. Don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. Wow. Someone on the West Coast said the same exact thing. They love it. These sponges love it. the presence of a Furon jetpack nearby. You will need it in your search. Be careful, you. The hell's in all those army crates coming over from Monroe Island? Ain't nothing there but that old abandoned fort. Or is there? Your ship went down on a nearby island. Excellent. Keep scanning workers. We're being invaded by Peter Lorre! Midget! Alien! You talking to me? You little green piss ass! Dance. I destroyed entire... Grab your weapons! You're all snorting on the job. Orson Welles was right! Help! Oh! Spaceman! It's killer time! No one will see me here. The fucking Peter Lorre line every time. Little green pissed Orson Welles, Hamster, Marsh, Body Snap. You're dead, big man. Crypto, you don't have authorization to leave. Return to the mission area at once. You have returned to the invasion site. Invasion site, you say. Almost. Yep. No, 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 I'm, I'm an American soldier now. Oh, that's the dude up there, I think. Or is that the jetpack? No, that's the dude up there. Okay, this is the jetpack over here. 
This ain't like WW2. Not a whole lot was. Show me what he You're dead, little man! Beg me to spare your life. Sucker! Now I'm gonna need this for Colonel Butts. On your knee. Here's Johnny. Like, why would someone randomly say that? Why does Joe keep looking it's at me? He can't tell just by looking, can he? You Articus, your messages it? are highlighted for me, and I don't know why. There was just like a weird function that just highlighted that I probably clicked during Perfect Dark. All of your messages were highlighted. Every one of them. I think it was something I clicked during Perfect Dark by accident, like when my mouse got unfucked, and it's a feature that I didn't even know Chatty had. So... The chosen one. There have been several chosen ones tonight. Forget that password, or they'll never let me on that barge. The human military industrial complex is apparently using a marine barge for surface transportation to and from the island. You may be able to use it to get to the island. The island. Problem here. I'm just, just, uh, just uh, your average, your average soldier. Midget. Sorry. No. Alien. Seriously. I have to talk to the barge driver. Barge driver will only speak to a soldier. Oh man. Doesn't this man work for the government? Let's get on your knees. Let's get on your knees. Someone's dialogue is broken. I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. Marilyn. Marilyn, will you take me to the island now? Now you're talking. Welcome aboard, soldier. <laughs> That's Steve Bloom? Did they really get him in there for an afternoon? This guy's IMDB page reads like the, the credits of Avengers. Your ship must have crashed somewhere nearby. But be careful! The island must be positively crawling with human warriors! We're crying out loud, Rocco. Don't call me Jerry. I'm on duty. It's PFC Pulaski. Pulaski? Oh no, Dr. Pulaski. What's the difference? Dave, aren't you on season two now? Oh, 
Oh no. Well, she gets a little bit better at the end of the season, but she's pretty rough. They, they made her like a, a cranky space doctor like McCoy, but it doesn't work all that well. Especially... Especially... Considering Data is such a fan favorite, and she's in strict opposition to him. Your ship. You must find a way to release it. Please, God, not cold meatloaf for lunch again. Oh, jeez, Louise. An army of one. I'm so lonely. Thank you, one of the sponges. <laughs> Something's wrong with this ship. I can't take off! The humans have removed the power cells from the ship's engine core. I've detected the radiation signature of the energy cells coming from a human marine transport Ace? vessel near your location. Someone said, I hate how Picard went from tolerating Data in TNG to being borderline in love with him in... ST Picard. I- see, so that's one RLM assessment I don't agree with. I- Picard and Data really liked each other. Picard defended him in Measure of a Man. I mean, there's a lot of good moments between those two characters. I knew I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. Yeah, there's a lot of mutual respect between those two characters. I, I do think that they went a little overboard in the Picard show. That goes without saying. Man, do I hate marching. These boots suck. Patrick Stewart went out of his way to direct TNG episodes about Data. Oh, he's the best, like, he had the most interesting stuff to work with as a character, I feel, so... Watch it, pal! Okay, so I need to drown Majestic Agents. Hmm. And yes, I agree that Jordy should have been in Picard. Absolutely. Anything data related. Jordy should should have definitely been there with him with his friend. Someone said don't drag Lavar Burton into this mess. I know. I know. But, just, like, with a better script. You know, like, better showrunners. There's, like, a lot of weird rumors about, like, how J.J. Abrams' company is holding on to the rights. And there's, like, a- like, an internal civil war. It's so- it, there's so much drama in regards to Star Trek at the moment, and Star Wars, and DC. <laughs> it's just so insane. But, specifically that, it's- it's turning into a big fiasco, as if it hasn't already been one. But, yeah, I think with, um... Essentially, it's, it's now at the point where they realize that the franchise has been devalued. And there are people that wish to correct this. Correct. Too late. Well, as long as it's, you know, if they're gonna do anything else with Star Trek that's different, that's not 
um, Kurtzman and JJ Trek. They have to get rid of that clause that has, like, legally distinct 25% difference from the original shit. Which is utterly bizarre, and I don't understand it, but... The drama is better than the work at this point. My god, chat member, you're not entirely wrong, are you? Again, people seem to like a couple episodes of Lower Decks. And I'm- I'm still not gonna give it a chance. There may come a day in the future where I watch an episode or two, but... I'm not even close to that time. Someone said, what did we des do to deserve getting bad Star Trek? Well, everything is bad. <laughs> Someone said, new bad. Well... Chat, you know, everything is bad wasn't- I wasn't being serious. <laughs> There's still lots of things I like, but, you know, new bad isn't necessarily true. I just think a lot of the stuff that I like, that I grew up with, is not exactly in good hands at the moment. So. You've done it, Crypto! You've collected the energy cells required for liftoff! Return to your ship immediately! Pew, pew, pew. Hey, we got a Half-Life game that was pretty amazing. Who the fuck would have thought that after all the hype, all the build-up, after all the delays, all the bullshit, we ended up getting a Half-Life game that's still my game of the year. Someone just wrote, Orange is the new bad. No wonder Sponge be sad. But Vinny, it's VR, which is shit, Kappa. Oh, well, yeah, that's- that's true. That is a thing that people say. Oh, there we go. Also, I'm not even the biggest Marvel fan, but I liked Infinity War a lot. I thought Endgame was weaker, but... I felt pretty satisfied having watched a lot of those movies and then getting to the end, and it was- it was those two. So... Definitely... You know, you can find the thing- Joker was amazing. You can find- well, I mean, I say amazing, for having no expectations and no huge interest, it turned out to be really good. So there's some stuff that you can find that's good. But just anything with the word star in it, or thrones, you know, good luck with that shit. So, uh... Fire ravages island, authorities deny explosion, blame local delinquents. Teams to strike over mysterious dockside deaths. Bob Crabb, looking sharp in a black suit and fashionably tinted glasses, gave the following statements. There's nothing to support stories that the blaze was lit by meteorites or crashed UFOs. It was nothing more than some bored kids in a flaming bag of <coughs> solid waste. A prank that went tragically wrong. Island officials have stated a curfew for all residents under the age of 21, as well as dog owners, just to be safe. <laughs> Vinny, I have an idea for a comedy show called Star Thrones. Do it. Do it.
my only hope is that Amazon's Lord of the Rings show doesn't suck because I would like to live in Middle Earth a little bit more. But cynicism be damned. Hey, The Boys was good, and season two is out soon. That was good that Amazon did. It's possible they can make a decent Lord of the Rings show, right? Chat doesn't have faith. <laughs> Chat doesn't have faith. I don't either, really. But I would like for that to be the case. Oh, fuck, we're going to the capital. Someone said chat is full of shits who don't, don't like anything. Well, you're in chat and you don't like chat. So that makes you part of your statement. How curious! I was tracking Armquist in hopes of discovering his secret base. But instead he came here, to a civilian facility known as the White House, to meet with his leader, the President. I knew it. Armquist couldn't lead an So he's right, ants. still? Cut to the part where I Sometimes. crashed the party. I wanted to seek out this White House. Find out what sort of place it is, what defenses it has. And then destroy all the humans, gotcha. No, no! Stealth is our watchword. Just disguise yourself and make your way to the White House. It's just too many people to quantify. And then there's the people that don't actually chat that much. Oh, darn it all. I knew I should have taken the insurance at the rental counter, but that clerk was so smug. The octagon. Wonder how I'd look in that dress. Betty Milford would just die of envy. Chat, where's the octagon? Does anyone see the octagon? Maybe I'd better go back to the two martini lunch. There's no map. Is it the objective? I thought that was the White House. Well, that's the White House, but where's the... The actual octagon. Hm. Flying saucers. What'll they think of next? Okay, I'm at the White House. Looks kind of like a palace. Big, stodgy, <laughs> neoclassical plantation style. No offense. Hmm. I'm detecting a herd of human scientists exiting the White House. Perhaps they've just had an audience with this president. I want you to scan their minds. Ooh, that's a challenge. The challenge will be impersonating one. Read as many of their minds as you can. Crypto, you may have to make small talk. And conversation has never been your strong suit. Strong sweet. I hate these meetings. I always have to sit next to that Schweinhund Armquist. He's got some worst breath, but he's so dreamy. Kandinsky! German! Idiot Americans. A little art education is a dangerous thing. Blue Rider? <sighs> that Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Stupid. Follow this human. He said something about Armquist. Operation Paperclip, yep. Don't get hit by a car, dude. What would Marilyn do in a situation like this? 
Other than take a lot of bennies. Oh, fuck. Who's this legally distinct president? Oh, no, they, they got Lincoln in there. Oh, he's taking a piss. Cool. Excellent work, Crypto. I have detected military installations up ahead. Now that you have his password, persuade the guards to admit you inside. Time. This city's getting way too crowded. A million people is just too many. It'd be great Boy, if you'd love just New York City. And just swept them away with, say, a, a them, Don't start a firefight. The bridge ahead is heavily guarded. You'll have to sneak past. Sneak past. Did I have to be the scientist? No. What? No? Finny just implant command. Oh, man. I didn't see that. Why won't those commies invade already? I want to shoot me some reds. So hopefully I don't have to be scientist, man. I don't care what it says, Earl. I'm telling you, we're in the wrong place. Look, shut up already, will you? The captain marked it right here on the map. Audie Murphy is a pussy. <laughs> now, John Wayne, that's a man's man. Wow. It's an extra layer in there. Chat, why is my disguise gone? What's going on? You think you can go Drop your weapon! Get back to the mothership! It's most unlikely Armquist will reappear after all this commotion. That thing had EMP. I should just vaporize you where you stand. Well, now I get to retain scientist costume, so I'm happy. Ah, good to see you. On your place. Unlikely Armquist will reappear after all this commotion. I should just vaporize you where you stand. Uh, so why did that happen? Oh, I pressed the right button on the wrong target. Hey, that scientist figured out how to turn matter into ammunition. This ain't like WW2. I don't care what it says, Earl. I'm telling you, we're in the wrong place. Look, shut up already, will ya? The captain's locked it right here on the map. Do not suck brains. Do not suck brains. I knew I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now Und that'd be some uh, easy well, duty. A bonus objective has failed for some reason. No, I know the map has the yellow circles. I just, I don't know what the hell happened there. That was strange. Oh, 
Well, you know, accidents happen all the time. Stop that. Just don't, don't steal a brain. Pygmies! Pygmies. Get back to the mothership. It's most unlikely Armpus will be here after all this commotion. I should just vaporize you. Sometimes your hollow bob will disappear if... What? Despawns? God damn it. Scan something to cancel? I, I tried. The NPC despawns. Vinny, please stop failing the mission. You should have watched my perfect dark stream. It's just 90% failure. You should have watched my stream. Just 90% failure. I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. What is your rifle's name, soldier? Charlene, sir! Pippi is no fail. He is cool. 100%. <laughs> well, well, appreciate that. I do fail. I'm probably not 100% cool, but that's very nice of you. And now if they send me into Cuba, bam, no more problem. That's all I'm saying. I really ought to get up to Jersey and see Uncle Tony this weekend. Jersey. Uncle Tony? I got an Uncle Tony. Morning, Professor. What's the matter? The brass always bust my chops, you jackasses. Blue Rider. The password is Blue Rider. <laughs> Welcome to the Octagon, sir. The General's expecting you. Damn, it's all fucked up. Try to get near Armquist and see what you can learn. God, I hate my job. Lift crate, move crate, stand on crate, destroy crate. That's no fun. Loop crate. Welcome to Bacon Crate, the only crate for men! This crate comes with knives and real bacon! I hope Lorraine don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. That actually exists? Yeah, I believe it does. Meat crate. Anyone else getting like a Which fucking seven minute long ad about soap lately? Some changes. Changes? Don't worry, General. You'll still be in command of our military forces. That much I've decided. You decided? It's only logical. My organization has the skills, the specialists. But up to now, we've been a federal agency operating on a limited scale. This new threat, however, demands a radical new concept of national defense. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a project for a new American century. The time has come to unite our five defense branches under a single chain of command. Five branches? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. And majestic, of course. You've got to be kidding me! It's the start of a whole new era, General. 
And the president would like you to deliver the good news. Are you out of your mind? You really think the Joy Chiefs will let Majestic swallow them whole without a fight? I think you'd better convince them to. And General, don't ever talk to me that way again. Yes, sir. Yes, Rev. So, huh? Majestic and the army getting it on. Hmm, I should have known. Those sly dogs. Bit cavalier about this, aren't you? Why the hell not? I don't think it makes any difference. I didn't clone you to think. And it may make a very big difference indeed. In any case, we have what we came for. Return to your saucer and report back to the mothership. Oh, getting Crypto. some some crusty the frame rates. Must not be as utterly moronic as you thought. Your scout ship has been discovered. Yeah, right. Pull the other one. It's true. Lock on with the middle. I'm moving to beat you. Majestic is exploding, attacking your saucer's defenses. Get back to your saucer and destroy them! You have the right to remain silent. Of uh, the soap commercial, the guy goes, You're a man! You're and a then man. he th throws a dish. You have the and then he says something about, Don't use dish soap on your scrotum. It's bizarre, and I keep, like, you know, walking away from videos and, and letting them play, and then it, it shows up. And I'm like, oh, god damn it, not this one again. Because it's so fucking long, it's like seven minutes of just soap nonsense. Yeah, it's only YouTube Mobile. I don't have Adblock on YouTube Mobile. That, and it's still telling me how to, like, unclog my bowels, even though my bowels are just fine, thank you. It's showing me, like, burning beans and, like, a bunch of weird carrots, like, taken with, like, 1999 disposable camera quality photos. It's so fucking weird. America infiltrated. Octagon locked down. Search for pint-sized spy in progress. Rumors of alien presence in U.S. grow. Can conspiracy figures disappear in mysterious circumstances. All eight walls of the Octagon have been barricaded after leaked reports of a communist infiltrator among America's top military brass. Inside sources allege that a friendly meeting between General Armquist and the U.S. Army and Brad Trigger, leader of the Boy Scouts, was spied on by the Soviet agent. Excuse me, that's John Trigger from Chrono Trigger's brother. The agent was so eager to learn the secrets of the scout's famed dis discipline and adventuring spirit that the something, something potted plant blowing his cover. The agent remains at large. He is reported to be short, skinny, and has an abnormally swollen cranium. Vinny, did you get the ad about Hitler invading Poland for marijuana research? What? That's an ad on YouTube? Alright. Vinny, I've gotten Bigfoot Jesus on YouTube. <laughs> what a platform. Vinny, I highly suggest YouTube Vanced. There's a part of me that doesn't mind the ads if it's channels I like. I tend to watch channels I like, after all, but... Like, I don't mind if, if I watch an ad for, for them, because then they make a couple bucks. Crypto, well, two cents, one cent, a, a quarter of a cent, whatever it may be. His orders are to unite them against us! 
No biggie. I'll just the amount of out. money made on YouTube ads, yes, by the way, is highly exaggerated. I have videos that have 25,000 views that made like 76 cents. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to do them too. So. But hey, that 76 cents might help someone, so I don't mind leaving an ad on or two. It seems majestic using primitive listening devices they've discreetly placed on our list. We're not alone. Bending antenna to hinder majestic. Crypto, your forecasts of I won't stop. Just don't let this stunt hold you up. My analysis shows that bending an antenna has the desired effect of interrupting transmission. What would think you've done this before? Take me to spare you. Here's Johnny. Hey, Space Rat. You're to in the name of Joe McCarthy and everyone coming. <laughs> I don't know why the, the McCarthy jokes tickle me. Yes, yes! As they can no longer spy on Armquist's little meeting, Majestic Death, Death, Death. Oh, this thing got fast. Holy cow! Party's over. YouTube Vance lets you listen to videos while your phone screen is turned off. It's fantastic. Okay, you sold me. This must be where the warmongers are gathering for the tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. They've come free! Help! Did you hear what she just said? She just referenced, um... They live. And Duke. Well, that's a Duke reference they live with the I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and I'm all out of bubblegum. I'm all out of ass. God, I look good. Scratch that. I look real good. Uh-oh. What do I do with my gun? It's not in my holster. Not in my pants. Oh, it's in my hand. You're dead, little man! Uh, stop! Hey. Armquist has cancelled the meeting! Yeah, do it out in the open! Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. Drop the teeth! Midget Kami! I want those commies invade already. I want to shoot me some reds. Call of Duty Cold War is just gonna be like just talking and like playing little mind games with, with each other, but no shooting. 
and then removing ads from from YouTube after the ad has something that upsets China and says, um, know your history. I'm sure everyone's heard the story already about the Call of Duty trailer. It's just... I can't believe... You couldn't have written... Like, if that was, um... If that was the plot to a TV show, no one would believe it. Now, John Wayne. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. We must send all our troops to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, they'll be safe there. What? <laughs> Good. Good. By God, Armquist's right! We can't let an act like that go unchallenged! You've got my support, General! Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42! You know what they say, Armquist. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not out to get you. Ha ha ha. me? A nuclear attack on American Position soil? reset. Those commies are a goddamn menace. Let's go get them! I don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth. Crikey Crocs, it says for Australia. Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! <laughs> Crypto! Your cover has been blown! You asked for it? You got it! Annihilate the humans! I mean, really, that's all you have to do for any of this, is just destroy humans. Man, I wish I could see more of that you map. You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my bro- Huh? Your way's not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide. Who's hiding? Let's get funky. Crypto, haven't you learned anything about me? Now you have to take on arm with the Navy and the Air Force. Metal Gear. Who will be with you? Nothing can stop the red, white, and blue. You're dead, Tommy! Um... Backup requested! Over! There's one. Use the probe. Oh my god, the probe works. <laughs> what the fuck? It doesn't work that well, but it works. Trotsky, I 
sympathizer. Oh! Whoa, that's a lot of explosions. Fire at will, man! Oh, there's a fuckload of ammo up here. Almost dead, I think. Nice. Go on, you comet punk. Finish it. How can you look at this alien and still think he's a communist? What do clearly mean? I mean, a libertarian. This ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... you didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Pathetic human. Well, we're all just human beings, as he stares at an obvious not human being. Collect ammo spawning during the fight. I collected a bunch of it. Armquist exposed. Red General killed in failed coup d'etat attempt. One of America's most celebrated military officers was exposed as a communist sympathizer following a failed coup d'etat. Thanks to the irresistible lure of America's world-famous cuisine and quality TV programming, these shocking events have led to renewed calls for citizens to report anyone they suspect of un-American activities. Secretary of American Culture, Orville Shrub, elaborated on the scheme. All patriotic citizens should be on the lookout for small cars, foreign accents, and non-smokers. Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us. <laughs> yeah. Well, he may have died by Crypto's hands, but I think his spirit died under a bus. Guy walks into the doctor's office. Okay. We can do one more mission tonight.
I won't play Borderlands 3. I've been monitoring the radio. This human with us says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... Uh... uh the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. Dealey it's not Plaza? Like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. Wait, don't tell me this game is gonna go there. This isn't 1963. It was three, right? That JFK was assassinated? November 63. Yeah, you know, this is a 50s parody. This maybe it'll be like a Jape FK. No, make that two drinks. Two very large drinks. Scanning? Oh, look! Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe. There's not nearly enough spectators well, here. Make my day. Like, almost no one gives a fuck about the presidential motorcade except two people p per block. Not a popular president. Out of all the streets, there is sadly the a game I called JFK Reloaded, though. This one. <laughs> Which, I'll let you figure out what the game is about, based on the title. That Rock Hudson, what a dreamboat. Did I just think that? Um, Wasn't it banned on Steam? I think it was. I, I sadly uh, also have streamed it years ago. Does it have co-op? Yeah, it does. There's an Umbrella Man role. It's a uh, asymmetrical, so one person's the president, one person's the Umbrella Man, Janet one person is Oswald, and when the I other person old. is the sniper I'm in the in sewer. No hmm. Passengers and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten the Soylent Green leather interior. Pricey option! And one person's the incompetent guard who fell down into his seat and, um, accidentally shot JFK in the head. God, I hope we land the Jenkins account. Allegedly. Can't wait to according to nose. some documentaries and research. Oh, their electronics are masking all human neuroelectric. That is a signals. real theory. Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. God, I look good. Scratch that. I look real good. Back to the left. I have to report to Hoover again. Please, God, let him be wearing pants this time. Yeah, Bill Hicks had a, a number of good bits about... about this whole thing. Repent. The end is near. Hey, what are you doing? Get back in range! Hurry 
Hurry, Crypto! Get closer! The scanner's out of range! Look out! It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the women from inside! Oh! oh I really must stop watching you in television! <laughs> oh! Screw it! Destroy them all! I think Zim had a cold or a sore throat from screaming too much. broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. I so saw you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits. Watch that, big kahuna. Whoa! You're learning. They're come. Beg me to spare uh, your life. Uh -oh. Space invaders. Impeach Space the president, invaders. it says. What the fuck? Of course, I wouldn't wow. expect the humans to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. Not JFK confirmed. This isn't how it went down, or is it? Maybe Stanley Kubrick directed the JFK assassination. I'm no expert in human explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to On the moon. The On the moon and do the other thing. The entire city. You know what the other things were? On the moon chat? Have Stanley Kubrick direct a film about the moon landing and JFK being assassinated on the moon. Hurry! They're going to destroy your saucer! When Danny stands up in The Shining from that one scene where the ball enters the frame, he's wearing a shirt that's like a rocket. It says NASA. And then he goes into a room that represents the moon. Because it says moon room. Moon room. Get it? Moon room? And the moon's 237 miles away from the Earth. 237 miles. Good work, Crypto! What does the monolith represent again? Oh, it represents um, JFK's car in the motorcade from an, a, a top angle. It's a sedan from the top. President in peril. Officials say Huffman is recovering, has minor headache. Oh. Um, chat saying there's only one mission left. Is that true? So what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Two missions? Okay, so I'll save them for next time. I'll do a stream. Um, I'll do some of the, like, bonus stuff. I'll do that. It won't be, like, a terribly long stream, but I'll plan it appropriately. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to get going a little early. I'm tired as fuck. You can hear it in my voice. Just didn't sleep very well last night at all. So, I'm going to, um, probably relax a little bit. And then, uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. But yeah, this game, this game is good. I like playing it. So if you want, you can um, you can come back tomorrow for more video games. I don't know if I'll be doing Paper Mario, but we're finishing up. Like Perfect Dark is almost done. 
probably one or two streams for Perfect Dark. Well, one stream for Perfect Dark. One stream for this. Uh, one stream for Voice Crack. We're getting kind of to the end of Paper Mario. So this week, I'll do some Flight Simulator. Uh, probably some other stuff that I haven't done in a little while. And maybe another Rogue Legacy 2 stream. Maybe Risk of Rain 2 as well. But, anyway, thank you all for watching. Seriously, thanks. Here's the art for the evening. And of course, Crystal Chronicles at the end of the week. Okay, so art tonight. It's only a little bit. Always appreciated. Clumsy Demiurge made this. It says, I died and was supposed to be reincarnated as an Indian boy, but God sent me to Fallout instead. <laughs> Um, please remind me what the fuck the context was for this. Oh, AI dungeon. Oh my god. It was so familiar, but I couldn't place it. Amazing. Thank you for this. Uh, so GUI made this BRB. It's cool. Reminds me of Mario Land, the original, first Mario Land on Game Boy. That's great. Love this pixel art. Nice work. Cheesy Draws made this. Kill it with fire. It's just me. It's just my life. What what's so weird about this? This is just normal. But it's really cool art and Kill It With Fire was a cool game. I like how the thumbnails just ended up becoming Michael Scott shooting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyway, thank you for this. Uh, here's one from Zengumi the Candy Mouse. Okay, I'm gonna just al already just kind of say, for comics, it's not a rule, but I have a request. Keep them to four panels, if possible, and keep the text as, like, concise and short as possible. Just to move the art segment along. Um, I'll read this as, as much as I can. Some months later, after Trials of Mana Stream, Charlotte had undergone past her innocent exterior... Ex and, and went into excessive training in many, many, many hours of speech impediment classes. Nice to see you around these parts, bub. Mobster Charlotte. The fuck? Wait, who are you? Oh, oh, Vin, 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 how easily you smooth brain. Uh, I'm surprised you've forgotten me already. Um, no, seriously, who exactly are you? Seriously, you don't recognize me? Don't you remember your my own catchphrase, bub? Oh no, I'm not reading that. But that sounded pretty familiar. Didn't it, Vin? Short version, I'll make you pay, Vin. Okay, thanks, good. I'll make chat fucking explode. Mark my words, Vinny, I ain't gonna... ...make your chat go mental. I'm gonna make your chat fucking explode. Okay, I read it in the wrong order. And then there's a Angela in the bottom right, going, eat. Okay. It's really good art. I appreciate the comic, and... There's even... a blank version here if you need Charlotte pointing a gun at my face for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I still think the shorter the better when it comes to comics. It's not that they're not welcome on the Buru, it just... it helps me out if it's, uh... 
if it's a little shorter, but the art was fantastic. I really appreciate that. Mobster Charlotte is a good evolution, a funnier character than we've ever had. This one's from Mr. Rookie. Here's some Kill It With Fire art. I like that. My name is Charlotte, the god of war. Some call me Specchio. Andrea Arts made this. It's me. Yeah, that's me. Cool. Nice, clean art. Nicely done, nicely drawn. This one's from Neo Skunk. It says, I'm really glad you liked Akira, Vin. Now you gotta read the manga. Mm. Ah. But, hey, this is a cool... This is a cool scene. I did like this scene a lot. And this art is great. Really good. Um, Crunkerton made this. <laughs> the spherical mind. <laughs> I also, I like the Rubik's Cube. It's so close to being solved, but... But yet something tells me the smoothest spherical mind can't solve it. This would make for a good album cover. Actually, it really would. Like, a little bit of development on this, Crunkerton. Without the Rubik's Cube, maybe some other object, I don't know what. But, that plus the sphere, like, it's, it could actually work. The Rubik's Cube is actually unsolvable the way it's drawn, look closely. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Mental. Unless there's a blue series of panels underneath the, the other red, and it's like blue, red, blue. But I doubt it. Harris Sato made this. Okay. It says I had to resize my art based on AI Dungeon. This logo is what IKEA would look like if it would be seen in action. <laughs> okay. I need to go to Ikea. No, you don't understand. I, I need... We need... to go... to Ikea. Thank you. It's Mama Luigi made this. This, my friends... Or, long comics tonight. This, my friends, is fax travel. You can use it to instantaneously be transported to any of our sensor lab locations around the Mushroom Kingdom with a push of a button, but wouldn't that mean it would only send a copy of Mario to the destination. Nonsense, that's a myth that many people may believe, but it is nothing but farce. Well then, jump in and experience the future of travel. It actually worked. Wait, what? Uh, that can't be good. Maybe I was wrong. Hey, uh, Mario, could you come over here, please? I'm afraid that I sent a perfect copy of you by accident, and Olivia went with him. Let's just never mention this ever again, okay? I'm, I'm sure Olivia's doing just fine. Besides, besides, she still got you, kind of. And that way to the paper shredder. It's getting out of hand now, there are two of them. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a pretty... ...good plotline for the, the story, like, a copier. Makes a copy of Paper Mario. Maybe that's the next game. Paper Mario Xerox story. And it's just like... Mario gets copied. And then that Mario makes copies of Mario. And that way they don't have to make new characters again. And instead of Toads, they have Marios. And... One more. From Lower Badger. And here's... 
my flight simulator streams in a nutshell, but, well, I've only streamed it once. It will be like this next time as well. But, yeah, this is when I was flying over Wildwood. It got real weird. Really nice work, and I see that UFO in there, too, while flying saucer. Also, was that a spinner from Blade Runner? Yes, it was. So anyway, great, great art. Thank you, uh, chat. Thank you so much. And, um, I'll catch you all later. This is cool. We're gonna do Flight Simulator maybe, maybe tomorrow. And, um, I'm gonna get some rest. If you want to watch my Blade Runner commentary, it is on YouTube. I recommend finding a copy of the movie. It's, it's not quite as good on its own, but... I guess that's up to you. Take care. And if you want to watch some other streamer lads, you can go to twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce or wait here for the auto host. And um, that'll take you to my mods. And uh, the speech is becoming surprisingly emotional with no emotional weight behind it. Because of this music. So. But no, take care, really. Uh, see you. See you later. And... Uh, Wait here, auto host all day, every day, different streamers you may enjoy. Good night. It's time for me to sleep. Beautiful outside. Why don't you go for a walk? Yes, Peter. That is a good idea. I hope I'm not demolished by an dangerous speeding vehicle.